And a quick change from my last video that I did with this system is I did go ahead and add two LED fans. Um, I had one in another system and one still in the box I didn't use, so I just went and pulled them out and threw them in. Um, I haven't noticed a major difference uh, except for when it's on load. Um, it's maybe one or two C lower, but it does look nicer with them on there. Um, that's really the only change I made as far as hardware goes. I did overclock at the 4.2425. I should be able to see it better now. I got the flash off. Um, and the idle temps uh, right around 42, 43. I did promise uh, some benches. I'll just go ahead and run Sim Bench here. Let's go ahead and run the Okay, all finished. Yeah, this one's a little slower than the last time it looks like. But I've been getting over 12.1 um, with it the way it is now. And... Got the SDD. Or SSD. <laughs> Go ahead and start that up. This one's on the Samsung 830. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and um, come back when this one's finished. Okay, here are the results for the Samsung 830. Pretty much close to what I expected. I expected a little bit more right, but uh, I'm not too surprised. And go ahead and oops, switch over to the A data. Go ahead and start that up, and I'll come back. Well, we'll wait for the sequential to finish here. Rather large difference in the right. These are the big numbers everyone looks at. Um, on the new egg order page, they suggested that that right would be closer to 500. Well, obviously, it's not. Um, but I'll come back once this one's finished. Okay, a total score of 470. Um, again, this is with ASSDD. SSD. Jeez, I'll never get that right. Um, yeah, the sequential write is not nearly as high as I thought it was going to be, but the rest of it for write is a lot higher than I thought. So, um, it's not too bad, especially for the price. I think I got it for $99 and there's a $20 rebate or something. So for 128 gig SSD, eh, I got it right that time. Um, it's not too bad at all. Um, now, I got no mechanical drives in here, so I use the Synology um, for storing all my actual data and you know you might think it's a little slow to copy stuff over you know and sometimes it is but I just wanted to show you the type of speeds I'm getting copying to the Synology here um, here is a 1. Point, well almost 2 gig file We'll copy it right over. Now this is the Synology here. And I'm getting between anywhere between 80 and a little over 100 megasecond. 
Now, when I was copying stuff from my uh, 60 gig Agility 2 um, SSD to my one terabyte Western Digital, um, both on uh, SATA 2, I was only getting like 40 to 45 megs a second. So this is faster than um, using my uh, mechanical drive and solid state in my old system. And here's just a whole bunch of text files, um, about a thousand of them. I think they're around 1K each. And it's obviously not nearly as fast, but it doesn't need to be. And we'll just copy these um, about 1.6 gig. Let me just get those. And again, it looks to be between 90 and 100 megs a second. Let's slow it down a little bit. The draw big drawback to doing this, um, of course, is if there's multiple people using the network, um, streaming videos to the TV or what have you, it will and does slow down. Um, but luckily, the person usually streaming is me, so if I'm doing that, then I'm usually not copying stuff. And if I am, I don't need to be going fast because I'm not sitting there doing it. There was one more I wanted to show you, but I can't remember what it was. So, uh, I'm going to go figure that out and come back. I remember now. It was the uh, Windows... Windows Experience Index. Yeah, it doesn't mean a whole hell of a lot um, because it's easily hackable. Um, so you can believe this if you want to. It doesn't really matter. Um, I went and cleared the performance data files. And let's go ahead and click the rate. And this usually takes uh, a couple minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the video and come back when it's nearly done. Okay, it's just about done. Um, again, this is overclocked to uh, 4.25. I just used the uh, AI suite, what is it, Turbo Evo or something like that. Went into there and it gave me three options of minimal, max, and, and stuff. I just selected the max. The uh, only drawback besides the little bit of extra heat is um, the timings for the RAM. Um, looks like it took it down to uh, 1,333 instead of the 1,600. But overall, the performance seems to be better, um, so I'm not complaining too much. If I get ambitious later, I'll start uh, going through learning the bio settings and on this board there are a lot of them um, so it might take me a while uh, but I think maybe with a little bit better cooler the H60 is great for doing not much <laughs> I guess um, so I might go ahead um, and try the H80 or even the H100 um, and maybe even look at some of the other options I know uh, Thermal Take has a couple closed loop and um, coolers out there that would be pretty easy to install. Uh, I'm not ready to try the the actual uh, open loop ones. There we go. All finished. And a total of seven eight. The uh, CPU and the graphics card are both seven eights and memory and disk. R7 nines. Um, I probably could go ahead and pop up the the graphics to get 79, but I don't do enough gaming to even want to try to do SLI or upgrade my card right now. Um, right now I have the uh, 
Radeon HD 6870. In um, every game I throw at it, it plays well enough. Well, I'm lying. Um, Star Wars The Old Republic uh, in my last system on this card is just horrible. Um, but I just installed it last night, so I was going to give it another go today. Um, and then probably uninstall it because that game went to hell. At any rate, um, yeah, that's it for now. I'm going to see if I can find a After Effects test file and uh, see how it does.